plaintiff, Cynthia Knowles, first had a sexual relationship with the defendant when she was 16, and they reconciled years later. But Cynthia claims while together, he went from abusing heroin to alcohol. She's suing her ex for unpaid loans and property. Defendant Jonathan Childress says dating Cynthia was exhausting because she was controlling, and she even put a tracker on his phone. Jonathan's countersuing for unreturned property. Start with you, ma'am. I used to talk to him when I was 16. We had a, um, a relationship then. Well, not a relationship, just a sexual relationship. Yeah, 16. So I hadn't seen him in about maybe 20 years. Mm -hmm. Longer than that, because this is 1975. So in 2006, first and foremost, I'm a recovering alcoholic and an addict. I chaired a meeting. I have chaired this meeting for 10 years. Good. I was looking for my son who was in prison in 2006. I found Jonathan online. I probably started going to see him in 2007. I went to see him for 10 years. He fed me all those jailhouse lies about what we're going to do. We had like 20 years or something to do. So 10 years straight, you were visiting him how often? At least once a month. Okay. And he would give me all these promises about what we're going to do and as soon as he gets out. And anyway, fast forward, he gets out in 2015 in March. I pick him up. Mm -hmm. I help him to apply for disability. I also have some friends who had a business that catered to felons. They got him certificates like for construction, to concrete work. He got maybe seven or eight different certificates with them. But mind you, he's on house arrest. And he's going to be on house arrest three years. So when he got through getting the certificates, they wouldn't allow him to work. So he went back to jail. He did another 16 months. I picked him up again in December of 16. Two days later, he started to work at the strip club. Mind you, back in the day, he was a pimp. That, was, that started in Doing December. Doing what, though? He picked the girl's money up. I don't know what they called it. <laughs> he was making it dry. <laughs> <laughs> he make it rain, yeah. he pick up and make it dry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. So he started to go to he Washington. Was, I still give turning the game backwards. That is 360. You went from the women giving you the money to you giving them the money. It was the money that they earned. In 2017, he started to visit his brother in Washington, help him doing some work. He was going every couple of months. He started going every month. So I asked him if he had met somebody up there, and his favorite words are, are you kidding me? So I think in May, March, their family went to Aruba. I asked him if he was going with a girl. He said, no, of course. Are you kidding me? He packed up and he moved out in November of 2017. Mm -hmm. and two th but he never stopped coming to my house. We never stopped seeing each other. As a matter of fact, from 2017 in November when he left, he still paid $500 of my rent until 2018 of August. All right, he's that's when that I rent. That's when I found out about the girl in Washington that he was seeing. I actually, he lost his phone. I gave him a government phone to use. He calls this girl from Washington on this government phone. And then he finds his phone and he gives the government phone back to me without erasing our number. So I call her. I was looking for my son who was in prison in 2006. I found Jonathan online. I probably started going to see him in 2007. I went to see him for 10 years. He fed me all those jailhouse lies about what we're going to do. We had like 20 years or something to do. So 10 years straight, you were visiting him how often? Plaintiff Cynthia Knowles is suing her ex-boyfriend, who claims Cynthia was so controlling that she even put a tracker on his phone. Go ahead. I call her in Part August. Of the game is this? Man. Yeah, the pimp. That's not true. That's the pimp. Right. He, That's the pimp. He lost his so, lesson. Um, we went to Florida. We were going to go to the Bahamas, but the Bahamas wouldn't allow him to go on the cruise because of his background. So we went to Florida and we went on a day cruise there to no the Bahamas. No pimps on the boat. Yeah, so when we came back. Sign. Yeah, that's good. It's yeah. a big well, sign. No pimps on the boat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when we came back from the Bahamas is when the phone incident happened. The first week, 
he was playing with the dog in the living room in his underwear, and the bag of dope jumped out of the sock. We'll Hell, Ron. <laughs> the week after that is when I found out about the girl in Washington. I actually called her, and she told me that she thought him and I were done when he moved out of my house in November of 2017. He's coming by my house daily. He's driving this blue Chevrolet. I'm asking him, whose car is this? He said, it's free. In 2019 is when I found out who car it was when I bought a house. It belonged to his other girlfriend. Deborah, that's the girl house yeah, I go Deborah. to and catch him. Oh, no, so that's his woman. Me and this girl has play, had plenty of conversations. Go ahead. So 2019 of October, I purchased the house. So he came over, he did a lot of work. 2019 of December, he went to detox for heroin. And I don't believe he's bothered heroin since, but he went from one drug to the next because now he's an alcoholic. He'll come by my house at 8 o'clock in the morning with a bottle of orange juice, and when he moves, I take the top off and smell it at a key. <laughs> he uses his credit card to go to the liquor store. I have access to his bank account. I have access to everything that he has access to. I have access to. And you control it? Or no, I don't control it, but because. I was about to say, you doing the pimp. Nah, no, she didn't. No, because he pimp on she you, dog. Pimp, baby, pimp. <laughs> That's pimp, the pimp. baby. Because That's he's been the in the penitentiary. That's what I'm telling her. Because he's been in the penitentiary 37 years of his life, he doesn't know anything about the internet. He didn't know anything about the cell phone. When I so picked him up, I told him, wasn't nothing the same but where his mother lived. <laughs> she controlled everything. Uh huh. I ain't control you getting your woman yeah, you in Washington. Control. When he left my house in 2017 of November, he had two vehicles. We okay, in 19, 2019. When he got out of detox, detox yeah. he didn't have a car. He didn't have a vehicle. He was off of drugs. Then he came to live with me. He got himself a job about March. February of 20 of, of 2020. All right. In December is when I loaned him the thousand dollars. All right, now let 19. me allow him before we okay. get to the specifics of the loan and okay. give background. Go ahead. All right. She said she's been pimping you since you come home. <laughs> I love that she woman. She said she sent you into the strip club to her get her too. money for. I love she her. She said she control yeah. all ends. That's why she, she control no bread everything. in your hand. She I was, kept the bag at all times. I was Facts. totally. That's what she I was said. in the penitentiary and I was totally computer illiterate. I was always asking her to show me how to do this, how to do that, but she'll get frustrated because I wasn't catching on as fast as she wanted me to. I just wasn't, I wasn't adapting to it. He had two other women. They could have showed. Yeah. Three days after I got out, I started working at the strip club. Coming home, plenty of money. Three days me. after you got out uh, of jail. Yes, Three days. Is. Oh, Three days. that was cruel and unusual punishment. Everything yeah. that I, have everything naked that I, women dancing in your face. Everything that I wanted I had right at home. 23 years. Everything that I had was right there at home. I didn't need no another woman or none yeah, of that. Right. I needed to make money. Mm. Judge, I just got tired of the bickering. All and, you had to do was leave. I mean, what you keep all coming my back ear. for though? She's a control freak. What you keep coming back for? She's a control. What you keep coming back? I love you. <laughs> what you keep? But you gonna take that love from a distance? Uh huh. Come on, man. I ain't I mean, number game, Judge. That ain't number game. That ain't number game, Judge. That ain't number game. He loves us all. Her whole family loves me. He loves us all. Her whole family loves me. I ain't lying. He loves the whole us all. Family loves At least me. we know he's not a dog pimp yeah. that used to hit women. She knew how I was she before knew. she even contacted me in the no, penitentiary. No. She had heard because that's my sister's friend. Yeah. I got you. And she was, was constantly pimping. hanging with my sister, uh, going to see my sister. And my sister right. told her everything. Plaintiff Cynthia Knowles is suing her ex-boyfriend, who claims Cynthia was so controlling that she even put a tracker on his phone. All right, let's get to the loan. Okay, let's get to the loan. Yes. So 2019 is the first loan. Got it. All right. He didn't have a vehicle. How much? $1,000. dollars 315 I loaned him to pay debit because she had been giving him You no loaned money. him money to pay his other Because he, was, he yeah. was living in my house. <laughs> Come on. He owed the girl money for dope. I'm a recovering alcoholic and addict. You need to take care of your business. Go ahead. 
April 2021, I gave him $500. Okay. Then in June, June 26, because of his drinking, he left the alarm off his car. All of his tools got stolen. That day I gave him my weed blower and my lawnmower to use because he does lawn care. That Sunday we went to Home Depot, I bought a drill. Mind you, I just bought a lawnmower for my house. I bought a weed blower for my house. I bought the drill so that he could use the drill also, but it's to stay at my house because I the need two tools. Drills that I left we don't get along. House. I need tools of my own. What about the ones I left there? They old as you and you should use. I bought a brand new one called Sunny. They're the old as you. They're the old as you. That was that, a You ain't left deal. no drill. She been using them while I was gone. No, I ain't never used them. I got your point. Now, yeah. how much do you owe her? $250 is because here, the first loan, the $1,000, mm-hmm. that was paid off. And that paper that she has, I'm thinking that she done got rid of it. Mm-hmm. That's the only reason why she wound up loaning me the two hundred, uh, the five hundred dollars. The five hundred dollars was for me to work. It was to do the lawn and paint around the outside of the house. I did the lawn. I tilted the whole lawn, and I was supposed to have been painting up around the side mm-hmm. of the house. She came down to Deborah's house, blocked my car in, <laughs> blocked my car in while sure I was did. just going down there to pick up a watermelon for my mother. Uh-huh. I was well, there mama, maybe about 10 minutes. Mama, the yeah, lady right. got a tracker on my phone. I ain't got a tracker. All she, I got to do is ride she, down, baby. She came down there and she, sure did. I opened the door up and was getting in the car, put the key in the ignition. <laughs> she wouldn't move her car. She jumped in the passenger side. That's when he choked to, me. And was trying to take Reach the in the back the and back. get my drill. I wouldn't let her. I got That's my when phone in my me. hand trying to, trying to call the police. He she slapped my hand, phone no, out my hand. He's lying. As I'm reaching down he's to get my phone off the you, black man. back floor, sounding right. he's she sounding snatched like the keys out the ignition and jumped in her car. I did snatch the keys out there. She snatched the keys out the ignition and jumped in her car. What property are you suing for? I'm suing for... My car keys with my remote. I have that. Uh, two floodlights. One is a double floodlight and the other is a single. I have all this in my trunk now. I have two bags of tools. I don't have that. That she took out of my car no, out there parked in front of my mother's take... house. No. And who has some uh, texts or communications that I can look at to as see who's what? telling the truth? My because phone's out here. My, phone, my phone out there. Oh, please. <laughs> both, of y'all got to, both of y'all got the same game. I got promissory notes. You they have it with They're old. Yes, sir. What they page? was paid there off. Page. The promissory note The only is reason why I didn't do the painting is two. because I didn't want any more trouble with it. She has your signature down page here. Two and page I three. didn't want to risk going to jail. Mm-hmm. Well, you pay her in... Uh, page two uh, and page three. Yeah, I'm and seeing it, sir. Tools, you signed one just see. as recent as April, sir. So I'm going to grant her her judgment. Thank Have you a good day. Why would she excuse me for the Thank plan? you. She just told you that she got all my property. Give it to her. Okay, I will. Thank you. Have a good life, babe. I love you. <laughs> I ain't no love. You know I do. Pay and me. If, I, and if, if you had to pay me, we wouldn't even be here.